charcoal, también este es todo dentro. And now the urine bottle. Sí. And, uh, y un saco de abono. Now one sack of chicken manure. And my urine bottle. Okay, so I added my urine and now I'm gonna cover it with this shade cloth so it doesn't evaporate as quickly and I put it intentionally here so that some rain will get in to keep it a little bit moist and the shade cloth so yeah, the sun doesn't evaporate it will be great we'll see in one month how it looks so down there that's the FH4 community area over there lot 5 is another neighbor building a beautiful structure and there's a road going up there the FH4 road for FH4 owners and then uh, there's a kind of driveway in between the lots although it's kind of going through these those anyway so the this is lot uh, 12, I believe, yeah, or is it, uh, yeah, that's lot 12, so over there lot 11, crossing over 12, and up there 13, where this structure is built. So there's kind of a driveway going with the Mexican sunflower, and then a contour line with the ice cream bean. And then another contour line with fruit trees. So I actually spaced them further because, yeah, that's the spacing for this one's around by. It's growing really well. Really happy to see happy fruit trees. Uh, down there is uh, Menteng, I believe. And then there's basically a row. Uh, there's like another Menteng and possibly another Rambai. And then up here is a chumpadak. Uh, up there, sugarcane and smaller things, citrus and uh, a cha cha. And there's a jackfruit. It's kind of visible, maybe. And uh, on the other side, there is more. That's more lot uh, 11, where you can see kind of a worker uh, now spreading manure. So we're putting chicken manure around clearing the fruit trees so here I'm going to be clearing around these eventually and then the fruit trees are the priority and then these ice cream beans are for nitrogen fixing chop and drop trees also with erosion control uh, the grass here is really good so it's strong this is a pasture grass so I love the idea of restoring the forest so one day these will be huge trees they will shade out the grass at least a lot of it, and these trees will be uh, more or less uh, eliminated, some of them. Maybe I'll keep a few. I did at some point plant some for fruit as well, and I have some fruiting. I do love ice cream bean fruit. So looking good, Mexican sunflower, also chop and drop, erosion control, and it's a beautiful ornamental, attracting bees and pollinators gonna make a food forest on that side there's more citrus small trees everything is pretty young still the jackfruits getting bigger let's see you cannot see it from here but it's in that area there and then there's large hardwood trees which will stay here and then on that side, more hardwood trees, some small things and pasture, and then it gets a little bit more forested, or they didn't maintain the pasture. And then there's a big waterfall with the, a stream that's on the neighbor's side there. And there we go, spread manure. More nitrogen and all that good stuff.
There's the jackfruit getting big and durian zigatinus getting nice as well grafted. Amazing. And there's the clear grow of the ice cream bean. And then between there's another uh, durian. So I have to fix that one. And uh, some sugarcane I just planted recently. There's some more sugarcane. Uh, there's uh, citrus and some other things that are smaller and then even smaller Suriname cherry still small and then it will become big next to the feature house or community center or something over there making the biochar.